All right, all systems are going. This footage is from a trip I made in mid-November of 2019. The Southern Illinois University Carbondale Sculpture Department was having an iron pour which I was invited to. This same weekend, the Southern Illinois Metalsmith Society, SIMS for short, was hosting their annual conference. SIMS is run by the students in the school's metal smithing department, and their conference hosts a visiting metal artist each year. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh. Hi. Oh my god. Look at her haggles are up and up. I know. She just comes out the park and then gets up. That's hilarious. So, hi. Right. We're rolling. I know. I know. Okay. There's a lot happening. Well, fill me in okay. on what's happening. There's a casting of the show at the... Um, Surplus Gallery at the Sculpture Building. And then there's another show for Dan Randall, who is the visiting metalsmith mm -hmm. right now for mm -hmm. SIMS. Mm -hmm. And that's at the University Museum. Mm -hmm. And then at seven is his talk. Okay. The metal casting and sculpture show at the Surplus Gallery highlighted works by a variety of artists. The exhibition featured pieces by well-established professionals as well as emerging and student artists. The Sims visiting artist was Dan Randall. Personally, I thought his lecture was extremely inspiring, as was seeing his solo exhibition at the university's museum. His mastery of forging and fabricating with a variety of metals was showcased by the prolific portfolio that was on display. I'm taking a vlog break. Okay, so, hi. Can you tell me your name one more time? Bill Siebert. 
Bill Siever. And we met. I'm Sarah. And then Sarah. You guys already know Sarah. So we just listened to a visiting artist lecture by Dan Randall, who's the Sims Conference visiting artist. And he's got his work. Also teaches at the Appalachian Center for Craft. Yes. He taught Stacy Green. Oh, mm -hmm. did he teach Abe Hardy? I think so, or they're Ooh. friends or something. Well, I mean, we're all friends. Yeah. And now we're going to John Medwedeff's studio, which is where Sarah works right now for Deaf. And then tomorrow there's an iron pour, and there's also going to be, Dan is giving a demo in the smithy. Oh my Marriott. gosh. What is it? Those were off the crane. Those lights, those Christmas lights were our, Chris, our crane lights. This is the place. All right. In the shop. Wow. I have, but it was a while ago. Oh, do you really? Oh my yeah. goodness. I don't have the Robin Hood anymore, but I've got a real nice uh, I thought of the ponies here. I actually oh, wow. like when I was gonna run into you again there ever, is a couple heat. years ago. Look at I that. Went, um, <laughs> this uh, English three speed. That's so nice. Like, have fun. Yeah. Like, have, uh, In John Medwood's uh, studio. One big hill. I'm vlogging right now. <laughs> uh, everybody that had done it before. <laughs> We're rolling. We're rolling! Okay. Oh my goodness. No, I love <laughs> <laughs> So we're, we're at John Medwedeff's shop. <laughs> and they said they're going to have a little fire. <laughs> Just a little one. <laughs> when a blacksmith says that he's going to have a little fire, just keep this proportion in mind. Ready, set, go. All right. So we're on our way. Good morning. Good it's, uh, morning. It's the next morning. Uh, surprise. Um,
we're on our way to the poor site right now. Where is the poor happening? It is happening at uh, the SIU uh, Foundry Complex on Pleasant Hill. It's very pleasant. <laughs> The furnace is here. No, it's still. We're just gonna check out the situation probably yeah, right now. Here. We're getting everything set up. Okay, I'm gonna go get some footage of the Sims, the like, the workshop. Cool. DRV. All right. Yeah. So I'm with Noah. And Sarah, and we're on our way to the Brent L. Kington, thank you, Smithy, and they're having the Sims, um, Dan is demonstrating. Dan Ram. <laughs> you are so good. We're gonna check out the demo that's happening.
I am so glad that we did that. So now we just left the blacksmith shop and we're back back on the foundry site and it looks like they are burning in. Have been maybe burning in for, I don't know, half an hour or so. Looks like we still have a little way to go, but uh, just gonna check in and see where everybody's at. Maybe pull my leathers out of the car. While we waited for the furnace to finish burning in, there was a safety meeting for all of the participants who would be on the pour floor. Then the furnace was attached to a blower and put on blast. The tower crew began charging the furnace with charges of fuel coke and iron. And we waited to see the first few drops of molten iron trickle out of the tap hole. After seeing first iron, we bought the furnace and switched to watching the slagger on the side of the furnace. As the iron melts, it drips down and collects in the furnace well. Slag will float on the top of the molten iron and that's what you see coming out of the slagger. Eventually, the molten iron will fill the entire well and it will start running out of the slag hole. When we see iron, we'll bot the slagger as to not waste the iron. The ladle crew will be called over to the front of the furnace. Here, the ladles were preheated and kept warm with this ladle warmer. As soon as the ladle crew is in position, a member of the furnace crew will tap the furnace, releasing the molten iron to flow into the ladle. Once all of the iron is out of the furnace, or the ladle is full, she will bot the tap hole, and then this process will repeat itself for the duration of the pour. Once the iron is in the ladle, the ladle crew will step away from the furnace and that poor crew's skimmer will use a skimming tool to skim any slag off the top of the iron and remove it from the ladle. At this point, the ladle crew will be directed to what molds the iron will be poured into and the skimmer will make sure that any bits of slag that may still be in the ladle won't get poured into the mold. After pouring as many molds as possible, any iron left in the ladle will be pigged out into a pig mold or sometimes it's poured into sand. The skimmer will then scrape out the inside of the ladle and it will be brought back to the ladle warmer, which will keep it ready for the next tap. Woo! How much do we have left? Uh, and that I don't know how many steps. Okay. I can come back on ladle. Let's do it. Alright. I just, I feel like, I feel like... Yeah, I'm gonna put my camera down. I feel like I'm at this point where I'm like, I'm not gonna use all this footage. <laughs> this is just like. You got what you need. Well. What? You got what you need. Oh, oh. I thought you meant like, what do you mean? And I was like, nobody's gonna watch this. No, I get it. <laughs>
much sheet metal do you feel like you're getting out of a pot? 80 pounds. Or anywhere for So you think we could do two shelves and use one, two, three, I want to do one. I want to do that yes. one shell. Yes. Well, so the next one, I think they're doing a shell and then a reaction. Yep. Okay. You ready? You fold that? I am. You want to do I'm dead end or live end? It doesn't matter. Okay. Whatever you don't want. Okay. I'll do, I'll do live. Okay. So. So Sarah's going to be live? It doesn't matter which one. Okay. One of those. The far one? Yes. Okay. Uh, those ones? Nope. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> those ones over there. The, okay. And I mean, I'm just going to follow you. Yeah. Also, that's what I and I can, like. Sorry. He said that it might be a little thirstier than 45 pounds, so. The reaction mold? The shell. The shell? Okay. Eh, that's fine. Yeah. Well, that reaction's only 31.2. Those are 30. <laughs> 35 and 14, 18. 31.2. Oh, how, how did that work? All right, here you come. Uh, who wants this shovel? If somebody's looking for a shovel. have enough for both. I don't think so either. We'll do the shell first. Yep. That's a tall shell, yo. Too much. No, I think that we'll be fine. Yeah. I think we're. we're I think we could go it. lower. Yeah. Beautiful guys. Yeah. That's it. Wait. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. What happened? All right. Let's go back your way, Laura. Yeah. Do you want me to go in? No, nope, we're going to swing. Okay. Just like that. Be prepared, guys. Rest. Hold on. I'm okay. I'm okay. up there. So Laura, go through the alley. Go, keep going, keep going. They're pouring yours off, Mike. There you go. Can we go lower? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. What do you think? Can you get it? What does it say? 12 we got one scrap box. Yeah. We got one. Okay, let's swing around for it. Yeah. I don't know if we have enough of those. It's not really a scrap, it's not. I think it was already poured. It definitely was. So. Another one? Sure. Yeah. Those will break a little easier than those ingots. Yeah. 
What a good idea. We could, um... <laughs> That's as far as I dare. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's a full cup of coffee. You see this right here? You see the sort of... That's a All right. I don't know if we've got a lot. Oh, there's like yeah. nothing in there. I think I might have got a little boing. Oh, can we turn it the other way? And then I'll scrape it out. Once all the molds are filled with iron, we take the furnace off blast and drop bottom. Good job, everybody. <laughs> we just finished pouring. Um, it's a little before five o'clock, so it always feels good to finish a big pour right before dinner time, because then you're not <laughs> working with no fuel. Um, but yeah, everything, look at it. So bottom's dropped, and now everybody's just relaxing and um, opening their molds and so let's go let's go see what some people cast because I don't even know you know I just you just show up and there's all these mystery molds so let's see let's uh, are you ready to see some happy people No, it was alive. We yeah, right. It. it was in there still alive. No swan. That's why it, that's why it exploded. That was all yeah, right. The duck just was like flammable boom. waterfowl. Well, no, that's just <laughs> a tough. The day's events came to a close with socializing around a fire and watching artists break open their molds. What do you think? What do I think? I think it turned out great. 
Are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they a lot. Yeah. Woo! The paper. The paper. Next <gasps> came out all. Oh. Ah. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. So that's like an origami. Yeah. <laughs> it's an origami fish? Yes. Yeah. So good. Yeah, I'm so happy about that. Yeah. And these are more of your, your shadow. Yeah. Hands. The wire part of the paper. No, it's a help with Should be Can you see that? Yeah. I totally see it. It's wild. How like, like, realistic. Yeah, I love casting. I cast my hands. Great thanks to SIU's sculpture department and Sims for hosting such an enjoyable and educational event. Credits and website links where you can find information on these programs are available in this video's description box. Also, thanks to John Medwadef for hosting a little fire at his shop and to my friend Sarah for letting me crash at her place that weekend. If you found this video entertaining, give it a like to help it get seen by more people and make sure to check out other videos that I have on my channel. Help me continue to create more content like this by showing your support and subscribing to the Cast Iron Gypsy channel. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I love you, and I'll see you at the next pour.